So today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are hitting the returns. Oh my gosh, I didn't even mean baseball bat. Hitting the returns. I didn't even do that on purpose. Listen, I was on my favorite return website. It's called Restock Canada. If you're in Canada and you like return items, definitely check them out. They're amazing. They're based in Montreal. Every single time I've been shopping on Restock Canada and I've clicked the beauty and wellness section, it has been completely empty and unavailable. You might remember that from when I shopped for the first ever return box we did. I initially went to the beauty section because I was like, beauty, what is it? Is there makeup? Spoiler alert, there is. Home furniture, home products, small appliances, sports and outdoor and toys. Health and beauty caught my attention, but as, if I can remember correctly, they are completely sold out. So we're not doing a beauty box, maybe in the future. But anyways, up into this video, I had always checked and there was no units available. And randomly, like three weeks ago, I was shopping around and I guess that they had just restocked Restock Canada. This isn't sponsored, by the way. They had just posted a ton of beauty and wellness boxes. So I was like, we need to get one. So this is the ad. It was 165 units of cosmetics and beauty. Estimated price was $2,000 and 21. Dollars? 2021, 2021. <gasps> Conspiracy. What am I talking about? So if you bought everything in this box, it is estimated that it would cost you $2,000. The box was on sale for $606. I always think it's so weird when there's like a 606. Why not just 600? Why not 599? There must be a reason, but it's always really random. So $606, the shipping on this was only $30, which is so amazing. I mean, it didn't have to go too far and it's actually not that big of a box, but it's really, really heavy. So I was shocked. I mean, 165 units of cosmetics and beauty products, that will be heavy and it is. Let me grab it. Here is the box that we received. As you can see, it is not overly large, but I will say it's extremely heavy. If I had a scale, I would weigh it, but I don't, so I'm gonna estimate. Like 20 pounds, 25 pounds? I'm gonna guess 25 pounds. And at $606 divided by 165 units, that is $3.67 a piece. Let's say there's mascara in here. Mascara from the drugstore is probably like 12 dollars roughly generally so if you could get a 12 dollar mascara for three dollars and 67 cents that's pretty good as always restock canada is amazing about emailing and calling before they ship anything out to warn you of the state of the products and unlike the other boxes that they usually say things are broken this one they said the products a lot of them are expired which makes a lot of sense because, I mean, these won't be broken probably, but they could be expired. So we'll have to look out for that. I must admit, I'm not really the type of gal to check the expiry dates on makeup. I cringe at the thought of how expired the makeup I have on my face currently is because I don't really get rid of makeup. And I know I've said that in videos before and people are like, oh, Mia, oh. But that's just the truth, people. Okay, I have to be honest. I have lipsticks that are probably 12 years old. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, I'm not scared of expired products. Although if a foundation or something is like separated and the oil's at the bottom and like the foundation liquid's at the top, if I shake it up and it still doesn't connect, that is like past the point of no return for me. Instead of following expiration dates, I just follow my own code of conduct of what I think is expired and what I think isn't. Like if the lipstick smells like a piece of chalk, it's too expired, but you do you. I feel like I should probably just tell you to follow the expiration labels. That's a safe bet, but do as I say, not as I do, I guess. Anyways though, I am dying to see what's in here. I thought it would be a lot of fun if today we unbox everything because there's so many items, I feel like this video is gonna get kind of long. But then on Sunday, I think we should do a full face of makeup using returned makeup pieces. So stay tuned for that. Let's dive into this box. I'm gonna set up a second angle and I'm so excited. I love makeup, let's do this. See, now I have two angles. I have much more things to manage. Like I'm like looking at you, I'm looking at that, I'm looking at the viewfinder, I'm looking at the return box. Also, I sound kind of sick. Don't be shocked. 
Don't be scared. It's not COVID. I'll tell you what it is, but you're gonna laugh and I don't want you to laugh at me, okay? Don't laugh. Okay, fine, you can laugh. So here's the thing. I am prone to ear infections. Are you shocked? Probably not. So basically what happened is I took a shower and then I forgot to dry in my ears. That's a very important pivotal step to my night routine, drying in my ears with my towel after a shower. But I forgot, I don't know why. And then I went to bed and it was really cold in my room. It drops down to like 16 degrees in my room. And then I woke up and I had an ear infection, which Chip is emotional about it too. I get ear infections constantly. Anytime it's windy out, I get an ear infection. And then when I get an ear infection, my tonsil gets inflamed and then my lymph nodes get inflamed and then my throat gets sore. That's all that's happening. Okay, anyways, enough about me. Let's dive in to this box. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's also really funny because I never know when these return boxes are being delivered. I swear this one was just like set on my front step randomly on like Saturday night. It was like nine o'clock. I'm like, what is that? What just flew out of it? Is that a spider? <gasps> oh God, get off. You can live, but just stay away from me. <laughs> Why do I literally feel like a spider might have fell into my pocket? Okay, let's open it. Oops, that's, that's not to be said. Oh, oh my gosh. Are you seeing in here? I did not expect this to be packed like this. Okay, now there actually is some chances things will be broken. It's literally just packed to the top. No safety packaging at all. Oh, no, 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 I'm obsessed. I'm actually obsessed. This looks like so much fun. <gasps> Green nail polish green nail polish. I don't even know where to begin now. I feel like we will take everything out, look at it, and then we'll organize it. Okay, let's do that, let's start. Okay, I'm just gonna pull things out randomly. Just reach my hand into this abyss of makeup. Okay, so the first thing is so up my alley. This is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Neon Collection. We have Lemon Chilla and Electric Lime. Two green nail polishes? Are you kidding me? I love green. Okay, I can't spend too much time on each product. We have 165 things to go through. Another product, another thing. We have the Ardell Double Up Lashes. This is a duo dark tone dries dark lash glue. More Ardell Lash. These are the double up ones. Oh, these are the same ones. Okay. Then we have the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Micro Fine and Define Pencil. Everything looks pretty decent. I mean, there's a few issues here. It looks like someone opened it and was like, never mind. Return. Am I a psychopath right now? Are we really gonna go through 165 items like this? Holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna do them really fast. We've got a CoverGirl concealer, a Rimmel lipstick. Okay, I'm so seeing a lot of the same product here. Let me just try and grab them all. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six of these L'Oreal True Match blushes slash powders. We've got blush here, powder, 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 blush. And they're all sealed in the packaging. Ooh, this is cute. We have these Kiss Nails. I actually really like these. As you can see, my nails are hurting. Seriously hurting. I try to get them done and then I have this terrible new habit of ripping my nails off like a week after I get them done. It's awful and I'm not gonna reward bad behavior so I'm not giving myself new nails ever again until I can get better. Let me just try and find the nail polishes. Oh, found another powder. Okay, we have quite the bundle of pink and purple nail polishes here. We have this Sally Hansen plant-based collection. We have two of those. And then again from the neon, but this time this really pretty purple. See how this is sort of like separating? Like, I'm not afraid of that. I would never throw out a nail polish if it started separating like that. That's just me. It just needs a little shake and it's good to go. Then we have the Insta Dries and then the Mega Strength, which I love these, like all these different pinks. 
That's fun. I'm seeing these giant big tubes and I'm kind of dying to see what these are. Airbrush legs. Why do these look like they're from like the early 2000s? Are these super expired? Let me see. Oh, lightweight makeup instantly covers veins, freckles, and imperfections. Okay. I'm not seeing an expiration date on these, so I'm gonna call them good. We've got three different colors here. And then this is the Sally Hansen Illuminator Airbrush Legs. Same sort of thing. I've never put makeup on my legs. And maybe I will now that I have a bunch. Oh, found another airbrush legs. Gosh, another airbrush legs. <laughs> okay, these all look pretty similar. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. We have lots of shades here. Unfortunately though, out of all of these shades, I don't think any of these would match me. Maybe this one? Maybe? Okay, so let's see. This item intended for sale at Walgreens is one of the stickers on here. So I'm assuming because there are so many of these L'Oreal True Match, they were probably on sale, looks to be at Walgreens, and they didn't sell, so now they're in my possession through this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the judgment that these are definitely expired, and I definitely don't care. <laughs> There's some foundations in here that I have literally never seen the brand before. This is a color perfect foundation. This looks so old and very used. Oh no, we have a spilt foundation. Clean up on aisle L'Oreal True Match. <gasps> oh no, it has made a mess in the box. Oh no. Oh my gosh, so much makeup. You know, it really wasn't a hot sale year for L'Oreal True Match is what I'm gathering because again, there are so many here. One did explode in the bag, which is gonna cause me issues. Oh gosh, L'Oreal True Match all up in here. Ooh, a mascara, okay. Like just handfuls after handfuls after handfuls of makeup. It is honestly very fun. What is this? Oh, okay, here we have another Legs tanning water. I actually didn't know leg makeup was a thing. This has opened my eyes. Well, maybe it isn't because everybody's returning everything. So here we have an eyelash curler. We've got some e.l.f. makeup, more Ardell lashes. We have two pairs here. We're going to be set for lashes. Maybelline Super Stay powders galore. A Color Stay Over Time 16 hours. Another Rimmel lipstick. A Brow Define from Maybelline. Concealer, concealer, concealer foundation foundation. Then we actually have some lip gloss, which is so funny because this Rimmel lip gloss, I definitely owned this at some point. So it's just come back into my possession. A Rimmel lip stick. Oh my gosh, I think I used to use this one. And then a brand new Clump Crusher mascara. When I first started wearing mascara, this was literally the mascara I wore. So that's kind of fun. It's just never ending. Like I swear I'm pulling things out. It's just so full. Okay, well, we have a pretty large group here. Let's just tackle this really quick. See, this brand is confusing me. What is this brand? It looks like something my grandma would own. It just looks very old. And I just can't find the expiration dates on these. More eyelashes. Ooh, the wispies. These are actually my favorite lashes. Then we've got more foundation, more airbrush legs. Foundation, foundation, foundation. More nail polish. This is kind of fun actually having some nail polishes. Another one of these mascaras. Another one of these. Definitely lots of repeats. Nail polish, corrector, foundation stick, and lipstick. This e.l.f. eyebrow kit was the first eyebrow product I ever owned. I used this so much when I was in high school. It's a good product, honestly. Whew, okay, we're seeing quite a few repeats. Here we have some wispies again, some mascara, foundation, foundation. This is one I'm seeing a lot, the Maybelline Dream Radiant. Got some nails, lashes, this e.l.f. powder. Oh my, that was open. Again, leg tanner, true match, nail polish. We're making our way to the bottom, we're almost there. And then we will organize 
divide and conquer. You know, I'm actually shocked with how much foundation there is because I don't think I've ever actually returned a foundation. Here's a bunch more foundations. We've got our first highlighter. Does that mean people don't really return highlighters? Because we sure haven't seen very many. Got lots of nail polish, lots of brow pencils, concealers, foundations. I'm so dedicated to not having to move all this, but I think I better. I'm scared to put it on the ground. I have this beautiful rug here. Okay, foundations, do not spill on the rug. I will rage on you. So many of these. Yeah, I feel like that couldn't have been from a return. I feel like that was just overstock. And all these airbrush legs. This product was a swing and a miss. That's what I have to say. Okay, I think I made enough room. Let's continue on. I'm just gonna grab big handfuls of things. Okay, what is this? We've got concealer. Another one of these foundations. Airbrush legs. Stop. Stop. If you use this product, DM me. I will send you them all. This is a formula 2 plus nail protein. Lashes. Lashes. What is this? Why is it? Magnetic gel liner. We might have to try that in Sunday's video. What is this? The new way to lash. Falscara. This is fun. Brush on the bond. Place wispies underneath. Lock in with the seal. Okay. Kind of fun when you get a product you've never seen before. We've got mascara, foundation. These we've seen before. Let's keep going. <laughs> Should I just tip this out? We're getting to the very bottom. Very, very bottom here. Lashes, lashes, lashes galore. You get a lash, you get a lash. Nail stuff, lash stuff, nail polish, nail polish. Literally so many foundations. Lip liner, eyebrow pencil. This is kind of fun, a Rimmel jelly blush. We have only one of these in this entire package. Powder, bringing it out, bringing it all out. Airbrush legs. The other kind of scary thing about airbrush legs is listen to this sound. It's water. Where's this one? Gel. Eyeliner, powder, mascara again, blush, which is broken, lash, lash, lash. This again, foundation, 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 powder foundation, this Neutrogena color correcting thing, lip colors, nail polish, nail polish, nail polish. We have reached the bottom of the box, the last I think four, pro five products in here. Let's really like make them count, okay? Let's really act like this is the moment. We have the L'Oreal True Match Loom Glotion. The Sally Hands and Extreme Wear in, in purple, purple Craze. Blue. Another purple nail polish and another one? Purple nail polishes stick together. And then, and then this, this Rose Quartz, Quartz lip, lip liner. liner. Okay, here's how it's looking for us right now. Big pile over here. Pile over here, pile over here. Lightly organized, I wanna see it fully organized. My verdict right now is I can almost tell what has been returned because it was never sold versus what is returned and was probably actually returned by a customer. Cause a lot of this looks like overstock to me, especially when you get like five of these. That's overstock, not a return in my opinion. Okay, I'm gonna take a hot minute and I'm gonna organize these. I'll do a little bit of brand organizing, color organizing, object organizing, like the blushes together, the foundations together, and we will touch back in a minute and see what we got. All right, presenting 165 returned beauty products organized to the best of my abilities. This is actually the paper that I got delivered in, which worked really well to protect the rug. But here it is. Whoa, it looks 
a lot better organized in my opinion. So let's take a little look at what we have. A closer look. We have our leg makeup and tanner section. This is actually a very large section which makes me feel like these were overstock products. Speaking of overstock products, True Match by L'Oreal. There's a lot of these here. Also, this is another True Match collection. What is this? The True Match Super Blendable. There was a lot of those as well, which I'm actually kind of excited to try one of these. I might steal this one for myself because there's so many and I've heard about them. And then we have foundations of fewer quantities. And then this one, I didn't even realize while we were unboxing how many of these Maybelline Dream Radiant liquid foundations there were. Like, wow. And the Infallibles, the Fit Me, Super Stay. We've got a ton of these L'Oreal True Match powders and one blush. Maybelline Super Stay powder, all in these very light shades. There's no dark ones in this. And then we have our one and only Neutrogena Color Correcting Compact. And whenever there's only one of something, it makes me feel like it's an honest, genuine return and not an overstock, cause like there's only one. And then this one, which I keep making a stink about the packaging, there's actually two of them. One is packaged, one is not. Fit Me, these were lonesome pieces. We have a highlighter, the e.l.f. poreless face primer, and then this Lumi Glotion. Two True Match concealers. These concealers, there's two of the Maybelline ones and then three randoms. This is something that I really realized there is almost no eye products outside of mascara. Like here are the two eyeliners and then there is no eyeshadow, no overstock or returned eyeshadow here out of all of these pieces. Pretty crazy people, pretty crazy. We've got some brow products down here and these are all like single ones, which, you know, I don't know. I'm making assumptions. Maybe they're real returns. I'm not sure. This is our one blush, this Rimmel Jelly Blush, which I'm actually really excited about. Three lip products here. This is a liquid lip color, this really nice dark color. This is the lip section, by the way. So these are two Color Stay Over Time 16 Hour Liquid Lipsticks, glosses. These are all lip liners that are almost all the same color, which ironically enough, I think I literally used to wear this when I was in grade nine. So this is perfect. I'll just get back to my roots. And then these two random liquid lipsticks, which by the way, what is this brand? Is this a Rolls Royce brand? I don't know. And then we have an overwhelming amount of returned nail polishes. Two stick on nails, which these are really, really cute. I'm very excited about that. This nail protein thing. I'm trying to see too, like what looks like it's been opened and used and what hasn't been and what do I actually care if someone used or not because I'm gonna donate a lot of this stuff and I just don't know what's acceptable to donate or not. Before I do a big donation, I always call in and ask what they want. So I'll have to see, but yeah, it'll be kind of like, I'll have to figure it out because this might be expired, see with the separation, but it might still be like good, you know? I don't know. Let me know down below what you guys think is acceptable because I don't want to throw it away, you know? Like it's good stuff. Anyway though, we have this Sally Hansen Pure Collection and then the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. These neon ones, this little lone Sally Hansen Extreme Wear, and then all of these Sally Hansen Mega Strength. And then this little cuticle thing. We're getting into the lash section. We've got mascaras all here, lash glue, lash curlers, and then a bunch of eyelashes. Oh my gosh, like this looks really fun. This one and this, like I've never tried a magnetic eyeliner application, that might be fun. And then we've got some double up lashes, the wispies, which I actually really love the wispies. Those are like my favorite lashes because the band is so thin. And yeah, then these, these are all like different types. They're not the same. So that is everything, all organized. I gotta say, when it was thrown in the box, it looked a lot less appealing than it does right now. It actually looks pretty good. My grandma's here right now and I might just let her go wild and pick whatever she wants because this will be a dream for her. <laughs> but yeah, here it is. It's really, really hard to tell what has been used and what hasn't because I swear to you, outside of maybe three things that had broken open, everything has their like little plastic seal still closed. 
very, very surprised by it. I always expect everything to be returns and then I think a lot of it's overstock. So the mystery continues. Come on in. Oh my gosh. That is so weird. That was all in that little box. So much stuff. 165 items. Oh my word, way more stuff than I expected in that box. So much fun nail polish. Wow. Okay, well, that was interesting. It definitely was. I wish the camera angle had all the products in the back, but I mean, I guess you just saw it, but it, it's a lot. It is a lot. And I was just thinking about each piece was $3 and 65 cents. Was that what it was? $3 and something cents. And I gotta say, I would say every single piece we unbox would be well over $3 and 60 cents for sure. I mean, these, I've seen these before and they're like $12. This, I can only assume would be well over $3. It seems pretty elaborate. And like based on returns and things being expired or broken, like we're doing pretty good. I mean, I didn't check the expiration date on everything, but just based on the look, it looks great. Granted, I'm really not the right person to ask about expiration dates because I literally ate, this is so gross. Well. This is, this is what happened, okay? I made myself a gluten and dairy free grilled cheese and I had not realized that the cheese, I go like this because is it really cheese? I don't know. It had went bad and I proceeded to still eat it because I wasn't sure why it tasted weird. I'm really not the right judge of expiration dates. But I thought it all looked really good. Make sure to tune in on Sunday for that. And also comment down below if you know any good charities that would love these products because I will definitely be getting rid of a lot of them. Anyways, I don't really know what else to say. As always, I had a ton of fun. I have been itching to do a makeup return box since we started these return videos. So when I saw that they were in stock, I was so excited. And I gotta say, the box definitely lived up to my expectations. I think everything's great. The shipping was fast. The pieces are awesome. Like when you think about it, we only had one foundation explode in the box. Based on how it was packaged, I thought there would be a lot more broken pieces. Anyways though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see any other return boxes or any other videos, whatever you want, comment it down below because I am always reading through your guys' comments and writing down your guys' awesome video ideas. So make sure to let me know if there is one you wanna see. As always, the charity for this video will be linked down below. I've just started like listing it down below. I feel like you guys have seen it just cause sometimes when I'm filming, I forget to do it. So I'm like, I'm just gonna be safe and put it in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys on Sunday to try this makeup on on my face. Oh, 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 oh,